Hi there Thunkers and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to explore the logic blocks that are available in Thunkable and use them to create a version of our clicker app from the app variables video that will not allow the user to set the clicker to a value below zero. Let's get started. Let's start by talking about conditional statements. A conditional statement means that we'll do something if a certain condition is met. A condition can be true or false. In this example, we have an app variable called isWeekday, which can be set to true or false. If isWeekday is true, then we'll go to work. And if isWeekday is false, we'll stay at home. In this example, we have a bank balance, which is a number. This time, our conditional statement is checking if our bank balance is greater than zero. If our bank balance is greater than zero, then we'll spend money, and if not, we will save money. You will see that Thunkable offers many operators to compare two values in your project. Any variable that can only have a value of true or false is known as a Boolean. These values can also have null values, which means that there is no value assigned to them. You can set these values using blocks from the logic drawer. In Boolean logic, we use operators to compare Boolean values. Let's take a look at AND and OR in Boolean logic. If Booleans are connected with an AND operator, then the action will only be taken if all of those Booleans are true. However, if they are connected with an OR operator, then the action will be taken if any of the given Booleans are true. In this example, where we have two Boolean values called A and B, then A and B is only true when A is true and B is true. If A is false or B is false, then A and B will be false. However, A or B will return true as long as A is true or B is true. A or B will only return false if A is false and B is false. The final block in the logic drawer of blocks is the NOT block. This can be used to invert any Boolean value. For example, with this Boolean is weekday, instead of checking if is weekday is false, we can simply say if NOT is weekday, we'll stay at home. Now that we understand how logic blocks work, let's use some logic blocks to say that in our clicker app, we will only allow values of zero or greater to be displayed, and we won't display any negative values. So if we decrease the value of count when we click on minus, let's grab an if block from the control drawer of blocks. We will say that if the value of count is greater than zero, then we will go ahead and decrease the value of count. This means that if the value of count is already at zero, we will not further decrease the value of count. This means that zero is the lowest value for count we will show in our app. Now let's test this out. And when our app starts, we see zero, and when we click on minus, the value does not go down. But when we click on plus, our value still goes up. And if we click minus again, the value will go down until it reaches zero, and then not decrease any further. And that's it! We hope you learned something useful about using logic blocks in your Thunkable project today. Thank you so much for watching, and as ever, thanks for thunking.